Hey guys, my name is Dan, I'm a veterinarian, and thank you for finding the channel. Today I'm talking about an eye problem that a viewer is having, and eye problems, guys, are incredibly common in dogs, and if you didn't know this, I really, really, really enjoy working on eyes. I think eyes are incredibly rewarding because uh, they can be completely gross, and you can work on them, and then the next week they can look beautiful. So this viewer says, my dog's eye does good on antibiotics, and eye washes, but the minute we stop them, dryness, and the eye just looks really gross. Okay, so thank you for writing me. Here's the deal, guys. So if you're doing eye drops, and if you're doing antibiotics, and it gets better, and then you stop, and then it looks gross again, that means you have a chronic problem, and most likely you haven't diagnosed the actual problem yet. All right, let's break it down. When you do an eye exam, when a veterinarian does an eye exam, they're gonna do usually like three things. Of course, they're gonna do the physical exam, but they're gonna test for ulcers, so they're gonna do a fluorescein stain, and if you have an ulcer, it usually gets better within about five to seven days. They're gonna check the pressures. Do we have like uh, pressure issues in the eye? Like do we have uveitis or glaucoma? And if those are abnormal, we're gonna treat those. The one thing I think that's missing in this case is um, the Schirmer tear test. Now, it's easy to Monday morning quarterback this sucker and be like, like, hey, they missed that. But if if the eye continues to get bad over and over and over again, most likely they didn't do a Schirmer tear test. And a Schirmer tear test, it tests the tears. And if the doggy doesn't have a lot of tears in the eye, that means the minute you stop a lubricant, an antibiotic, anything wet in the eye, it's gonna get all gross again. It's gonna get mucoid and thick, the eye's gonna get red and injected and just gross. So in most cases, what you should do is don't give any eye drops for like a good, oh man guys, at least, at least six to eight hours. I prefer 12. And then come on in and do a shrimp tear test. That should be the first test your veterinarian does because once you put drops in the eye, you ruin that test. And you test for the dryness, and if the eye is dry, you're gonna be doing two things. You're gonna be doing lubrication for the eye, to keep it wet. There's a lot of lubrications out there. Um, I'll put a link to one. I'll try to you guys. Um, I really like Optics Care. I think it's a great drug. I really like that. It's just a lubricant for the eye. And then uh, the other one is going to be like, you need to do something for inflammation and immunosuppressive because most of the times you have dry eye in dog guys, it's usually from that, like immunosuppressive problems. So doing something like a steroid or a cyclosporin are all great options. And that might I, I stress might. That might help the glands work a little bit better and produce more tears. And if you have more tears being produced, guess what? Your dry eye isn't as bad. So that's why I think that viewer's problem is stemming from is dry eye. Of course, always ask your veterinarian, get their opinion on it. This is just you know a broad comment about gross eyes. As always guys, my name is Dan, I'm a veterinarian. Thanks so much for watching, I really appreciate it. You guys take care, bye.